Okay, here's a quick video on updating, updating position palettes, which I use in the queue list. I want to show some uh, ways to do this. So question was, I set up some positions for my beams and use them in my queue list. Now suppose when I go live that any of them need some adjustment. I can't find how I can update a position as if I click it it seems to change, not update. Is there any way I can update a position with new values so it reflects in the queue list where it is used? My answer was simply updating the palette works throughout all playbacks which reference the queue list. And this is what I want to show. I have here a very basic setup. Um, you see at once it's just 12 fixtures in the background. And um, I use it to show something else in another video. So just um, 12 washes, nothing else. So what we do for beginners is we make a very basic queue with the dimmer at full. Okay, yeah, you see here dimmer at full. Then we go record and record this by channel. You see record mode channel. This is my first playback, so that I can just control the brightness. Here we go. Yeah. And then we do some positions, like what I did, just uh, left, center, right, nothing else, nothing special. I'm very easy to please. Okay, and this one here, and now we fan them together, like so, hit fan, and like this, maybe tilt a little less, like so, okay, this is our center position. And just double click in the positions and now one, two. This is our center position. Now I go to fan again and fan them to, um, to position, to pen. This is our left position, stretch right. And now we go the other way around. And this is our right position. Um, Let's do the center position again, because it is empty, now it works. Yeah, okay. So we have three positions now. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, clear. Um, what I do now is I record a queue stack for this, a queue list. So, um, record. Create queue list. It should go there, and the first queue is all at the left. This is my first queue. Then all in the center. This is my second queue, and all to the right. This is my third queue. Additionally, I do another queue here to show you the difference later which is the left group goes to the left, the center group goes to the center, and the right group goes to the right. This is, for all together, my queue, which is a separate queue, a separate playback. And I see I'm still in creating queue list, which is not intended now. That's why I hit exit and record it here. Okay, so this is just a basic setup. So I have my queue list here, and we can see left, center, right, left, center, right, left, center, right. The flash button works as a go button. And then I do my um, single, uh, single queue, and here we go. And now let's say we want to update a queue, um, a palette while the queue list is running. So one, two, three, one, two, three, 
one, one, two. And now I say, okay, the center position should be a little bit more upstage. Um, so I, uh, while I am in that queue, I select my fixtures. I um, change the, the tilt value, like so, and say, this should be my new um, value for this palette. And now I simply click on update. I'm asked whether I want to update the queue list or the palette. And if I say I want to do this throughout the entire thing, um, then I hit on and I highlight the palette, I deselect the queue list, and I hit enter. So now we have updated the palette. Well, it's a little bit more upstage. We can have a look and can see this is our left palette. Our center palette is a little bit more upstage, and our right palette is there. Left, center, right. Okay. And as well, we can see how our, our queue list works. Left, center, right. Left, center, right. Perfect. And now we can see, since we have updated the palette and the queue references the palette, um, the center group should be a little bit more upstage. That's right. Yeah. Okay. And now, um, on the contrary, we do the uh, left queue. This one. And now we change the right group to be on another position. Have a look. Um, right group. And change the pen value. Like so. Um, and now we go to update. And now I leave it like it is. So I want to update the queue list, not the palette. I want to update the queue list. And hit enter. Clear. Exit. Now let's go through our queue list. Center, right. Left with the right group a little bit more right. Okay, 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 okay. And now we try our right palette. And now we see everything goes to the right because we did update the queue list, not the palette itself. And have a look inside the queue list. And have a look inside queue number one. And there we see for our first eight fixtures, they still reference a palette, palette 17, which is a uh, state right palette. And the other four fixtures, where we have updated only the queue list, uh, they show distinct values without referencing any palette. This is how updating a palette works. Of course, we could do a third way. And now, let's say, without the queue list being active, regardless whether it's active or not, we go to edit our palette number this one here now this palette is uh, loaded into the programmer all fixtures are sent there and now i can take for instance my first group and change its pa um, pen value like this and now maybe this is how i want to make my how, how i want to uh, have my palette changed and that's why I have the uh, separate menu entry here, update palette 18. And now the new values are written into my palette. Of course, another way would have been to record into that palette. So there are many, many ways to change what is stored inside a palette. So let's have a look. Our palette number one, palette number two, and palette three are stored. 
So, I hope I showed you some ways how to update a palette and that it populates itself throughout queue lists and through single playbacks. Have fun!